Hello, how are we doing? I'm a bit glowy then. Um, so hairs have the chop. Chop, chop. Feels so much better, so much healthier and thicker and lush. So I am hopping on, number one, seriously, this stuff. My lips haven't got anything on them, so I'm gonna chuck a bit of gloss on. Have you seen the lid of this? If you've not smelt this stuff, you need to. It smells amazing. Like, you know those, what are those called? Um, drumstick lollies. It's like that. You know the pink and white lollies? It's like that. So if you like those, maybe don't get it because you might want to eat this, but it's pretty good. Um, okay, so we're talking about the trio. Now, I think this is like one of the most underrated things in the world. This is amazing. Um, the trio, okay. In my trio, and you get to pick what you put in your trios, which is awesome. I'm going to show people a few things because I know there's lots of people out there that do not know how to apply a bronzer, a blush, or what the hell to do with a translucent powder. Why do I need one? Why is it necessary? Okay, I'm going to talk to you about it, okay? So what you're going to need when using powders like these, whether you've got a blusher at home, bronzer at home, whatever it is, translucent powder, setting powder, you might know it as, I'm going to show you how to use these, okay? So... What we're going to start with, just looking at the camera angle, it looks a bit different from normal, doesn't it? You want to have a big fluffy brush, okay? You want a fluffy brush. When you're using these products, you don't want a flat brush, you want a fluffy brush. And also, if you can, like a blusher brush, can you see how this is slanted? Um, my other one, my daughter got hold of and actually put it through black eyeshadow. So I, I'm not using that one today. I made that mistake the other day and ended up with black eyeshadow all over my cheeks, which was not ideal when you're trying to rush out the door, I can tell you. Okay, so what we want to do is once we've applied our foundation, can you see I've got a bit of a dewiness going on? I love a dewiness, okay? I do like a dewy glow, but some people do not. And some people want to just tone down the sort of the, um, the dewiness look because perhaps they've got like more oily skin. So that is where our um, translucent powder comes into play, okay, the setting powder. So this is doing exactly what it says on the tin. It is going to set your makeup, okay? So if you find that your makeup slips and slides about, um, perhaps you've got particularly oily skin, you're gonna to wanna to get a setting powder. So all you do is tap it in there. Can you see the powder on there? And you're just gonna pat it over where you've got that dewiness. And it's just gonna mattify it, okay? Can you see how it's like mattifying? Same up here, just wanna pat it. Just pat it on and it's gonna matte it. Okay, and again, over the cheeks. Now, if you are putting on concealer and you're finding it slipping and sliding over your face, um, number one, you may put too much concealer on, okay? You do not need a lot of concealer. Um, number two, try using a setting powder over the top and just pat it in straight after you've done your concealer. Just pat it in and that is gonna help stop that concealer moving around and sitting in any fine lines, okay? If you have more mature skin and more like deep set lines, you may want to avoid putting too much powder on the face. So you might want to opt for something like a setting spray instead, okay? But um, on the whole, you can just pop a bit of powder under the eye. Now, if you've got a smaller brush, great, do that. But literally just patting it on. And this is just going to mattify your face. Can you see how that glowiness is cut toned down? Put it on your chin. The other thing that this is great for is applying before you put your bronzer or your br blusher on, okay? So if you've got like quite a dewy foundation, yes, yeah, so it's got a bit of dampness to it, um, sort of creaminess is probably the right, right word, not dampness, creaminess to it. Um, you may find if you go and put a bit of bronzer or blusher straight on there, you're gonna suddenly get this big mark of color because it's just gonna stick to it. So by putting on a bit of translucent powder, just patting it over, it's going to create a nice surface for you to blend in some colour, okay? So we're going to do that now. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of bronzer, okay? Now the bronzer is great because it's got a very subtle glow to it. Can you see? It's not glittery, it's very glowy. So I'm going to take a slanted brush, just pat it in there. I'm going to actually pull my cheekbones off a bit, that's what I'm aiming for here, okay? So I'm going to add a bit of bronzer up here, here. I'm going to put it down the centre of the nose, and at the high points on my forehead, just here. If you have a larger forehead, pop a little bit along the hairline as well. It's going to help shrink that down. If you have a very small forehead, avoid this area here and just keep it on the sides, okay? So we're going to start with that. So literally, I'm going to like suck in my lips like this. Yeah, fish lips. And just pat it there at the top, at that high point of the cheek. You can feel the cheekbone there. Can you just see how it's raising that and it's lifting that side? 
Can you see that slight, slight difference already? Yeah, see the colour there and not that side? Take a little bit more. You do not need a lot, you just need a touch, right? We don't want to tango ourselves, okay? Unless you want to, okay, that is up to you. Now, I'm just literally lightly brushing on. I Personally, for me, I like the more subtle sort of looks, more natural sort of looks. That's that's how I do my makeup. Um, but some people like it more like, what's the word? More like extreme or more full on, which is absolutely fine. Now, I'm going to do it up here. So just dusting it here. And just dusting it here against this hairline here. And it's just adding a bit of colour into my face. The next thing, I'm going to go on the high point of the nose, like so. I'm just going to add a bit of colour in there. And I'm going to go on the chin, just here. It's just bringing a bit of shape to the face. Can you see how now I've got like a really subtle sort of glow going on? But it's not OTT. It doesn't look like unnatural. It's quite subtle and pretty. Yeah? So that's what we've done so far. Now, finally, you can take either a slanted blusher brush or if you've got like a small, like round fluffy brush, you see this? Something like this, to do your blusher, okay? Let me just, oh. Sorry, lives, that's what happens on a live. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna take the very tip of the blusher brush here, okay? I'm gonna pat it into our blusher. Again, you don't need a lot, just like literally pat. Um, and you wanna smile, okay, so smile. So you can see where these cheekbones are, okay? And where these little apples of your cheeks are. Then you wanna stop smiling. And you wanna just remember where those points are. And just pop it on that roundness of the cheek, okay? Can you just see that hint of colour there? And then you can build that up, okay? Just like so. Now what I will do is different face shapes um, tend to go for like different sort of um, areas you can put the colour. So I will pop something in the comments so you can sort of see what sort of face shape your face is if you're stuck and you're not sure, post a picture of yourself in the comments and I will help you work out your face shape, okay? But can you see that just that bit of colour has now added like a bit of dimension into my face where we put the, block, the foundation on and that sort of like neutralises the face. We need to put that colour back in. If you find that you think, oh, actually it's a bit OTT, it's a little bit much, just take your big fluffy brush that you were using earlier for your translucent powder and just gently buff over the top, just gently. And that will just calm it down and tone it down a bit. I think that's okay. But personally, sometimes, especially when you're using something like this, which is really super highly pigmented, you need that little bit of, um, to be a little bit more careful and not so heavy handed, okay? So can you see that? Nice, nice, pretty, just subtle look, okay? Now, the other good thing about this, I wonder if this will work, um, is it's magnetic, okay? Can you see these little holes here? So you can actually pop these out. I'm just using this pen to see if I can get it out of the pen. Yeah, that's it. So I can show you. So you can pop them out. So when one runs out, you don't have to replace all three. You can just replace one of them. So they come out like this, just little pans. They last ages. Pop them in. Really super simple, okay? So say you were using, I wonder if I've got any other colours to show you. I'm sure I've got some to hand somewhere. Do, 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 do. Stay with me. Okay, so this one, this is peachy. Okay, so it's like got a more subtle peachy hue to it, which is quite good if you've got like olive skin. Um, I like this deep one. Oh, hang on. Um, it's more of a deepy pink, which I've just used, but I do quite like the peachy one if I'm like more tanned. Um, I've also got, I don't know if it's this one, this foundation, is it this one? Yeah, I've also got ones with built in highlight. Now, this one is like, can you see, it's got a slight shimmer to it, it's quite pinky, this is nice for those that have maybe got more of a pale, like a paler sort of complexion, or want that little bit of highlight on their face, so it's going to add a bit of colour. I like to wear a matte shade, but um, I know loads of people out there that like that sort of highlighty one as well, so that is lovely. Um, so that is basically how it works, super simple. And one thing I do love is the fact that it's all there together. There's no loads of different ones, you've just got it all together in one compact, which is amazing. Um, and it's super skinny, so it's going to fit nicely in your makeup bag. Um, so there you go, that is how you use the trio. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, I will be sharing with a few of you that I know have been asking about this and how to use it and what's best and everything else. So thank you for watching. If you've got any questions about where you should be putting your bronzer and your blusher, please feel free to send me a message or pop your photo below and I'll help you with your face shape and give you some pointers. 
Um, thank you for watching and yeah, let me know what you think of the hair. What do you think? It's quite short, isn't it? Compared to what it was, but it looks so much healthier, right? So much healthier. I love a good haircut day. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you later. Bye!